Hey there, Captain Whitebeard here. Today is a very special episode. Um, so I'm going to be doing a double feature today because I had a subscriber reach out to me and ask for a little bit of clarification on how the uh, like the currency system and like bonds and leveling up characters and all that stuff works in Mahjong Soul. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my first video of the day to explain all of that stuff for new players so that uh, you'll not be so overwhelmed with it because I know I was very overwhelmed with it when I first started. So, okay, let's go ahead and start. First thing right here, you'll see the coppers, right? So you get coppers for free through playing and um, coppers are what you use for buying a lot of the basic stuff in the store. Uh, they're also what you will mainly be winning or losing in uh, rooms once you get to silver rank. Silver, ra uh, silver rooms and higher, uh, wins and losses will win or lose you coppers, right? So you'll need some of it for antis. You'll also need it for buying other certain things, which I'll show you. So, uh, right here for instance. The most common thing that you'll be buying will be spheres right so we'll get into spheres into a, in a minute because they're one of the other important currencies and uh, this is where you'll get those now you'll also see wishing stones right wishing stones come from getting duplicate characters so whenever you get a duplicate character you'll get some wishing stones um, there are also a couple other ways that you can get them sometimes, like as rewards for uh, certain special events, you'll sometimes get Wishing Stones, which is why I have 10. Did I get it from that? No, no, I remember what I got it from. Okay, hold on, I'll show you. Um, so where I got those from was... Uh, I think it's in the door. No. One sec. Um... Not in title book. Is it in the shop? Ah, yeah, here we go. VIP. All right. So how VIP works is when you pay, you start without having a title. As you pay real money in the game, you'll unlock titles and you unlock some other cool stuff here, as just as you spend money. Uh, I got ten wishing stones uh, from hitting the soul and light level. Wishing stones are also very important. Uh, so. We'll come back around to those. First, I want to talk about Jade. So Jade, you can just buy, right? That's, it's the whale currency, right? The only place that you get Jade, generally speaking, is going to be from spending money on the game. It's not necessary. Pretty much anything that you can get with Jade, you can get in other ways, generally speaking. Uh, there are a couple exceptions. Uh, well, no, there's still other ways. Like outfit vouchers. I think sometimes there's events where you can get free outfit vouchers. But uh, the easiest way is to just buy them uh, for cash. Or, uh, or for Jade, I think. Oh no, that's you can buy Jade with outfit vouchers. Man, that's weird. Well anyway, so yeah, outfit vouchers are another currency. But uh, Jade, you get it a couple different ways. Uh, one is you can just buy it. And they match you the first time that you buy it, right? So I spent 40 bucks, so I got that uh, multiplied by two the first time I did it. Um, but you can also get a fortune charm. Fortune charms are much better value. So basically how a fortune charm will work is you obtain 300 jade immediately when you buy one for five bucks. You get 60 jade every day for 30 days when you log in. You do need to log in to pick it up. If you miss a day logging in, you'll miss that day's J. Um, you get an extra daily quest every day for 30 days, and you can store up to six quests uh, instead of the normal amount, right? Um, but yeah. So, let's go ahead and take a look at that. So, 60 per day and 300. Okay, so if you uh, take a look at how that math comes out, right? 300 up front. So 
what you get up front is actually the same as what you get for buying five dollars worth of those and then you get more in addition to that the only thing is you can only have one fortune charm active at a time right so and it lasts you a month so where it's a little bit slower to pay out um, if you want to spend just a little bit on the game that's fine but if you wanted to like spend way more than that then you'd have to buy packs of jade too I did it one time just uh, because I wanted a little bit of extra jade but normally what I do is just spend five bucks a month and it's not required but yeah it's a little it's something a little extra um, the main reason why I was doing it is to get extra summons because you can spend uh, 1800 jade to get a 10 times spin um, a 10 times spin comes with some guarantees uh, you get at least one purple gift when you spend, do a 10 spin, right? So, generally speaking, you get sli a slightly better payoff, but that's similar in almost any gacha game, where if you do 10 spins, you get a little bit. So, generally, you're going to want to do 10 at a time. Um, which, you know, 1800 I think, is about what you get in a month with the, um, the pass. Oh, also, you'll get these. So, these things here, you get one every time you do a spin. Uh, they're called Faith. So, the way Faith works is you can redeem those. And, uh, so, for one of those, you can get a Wishing Stone. That is important, kind of. Uh, for 50 you can buy a lot of things for 150 you can buy any characters but 50 decorations uh, songs that play stuff like that characters are 150 so this gets you for sure what you want and the only way that you get that is from spins so that's kind of a nice thing they have because the spins are random you do have a guarantee that if you spend enough times you're definitely gonna get what you want because you'll just be able to redeem it uh, some of that stuff's limited time. Um, I None of the stuff I've really wanted has been limited time. I haven't actually looked at what's available in this one, though. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at her. So she... Uh, she's an idol. Eh, not really my style. But to each their own. There's also the husbandos, if that's what you're into. But I digress. So we've explained copper, jade. We've explained faith. Then there's also outfit vouchers, right? So outfit vouchers, you buy these for cash. Uh, it's about 15 bucks to get an outfit. Um, they're only on sale, sale for a uh, limited period of time, uh, but they come back around annually. Right now we're in the Halloween season, which if you wanted to get her Halloween costume, you'd be able to get that now for a little under 15 bucks. Um, I'm moving away from her as my main character, eventually. Um, I'll explain why I've actually been holding off on that in just a minute. But, yeah, so, costumes, uh, you get those outfit vouchers, which you pretty much usually have to buy those. But anyway, back to spheres. So the reason spheres are important is for Bond. Let's go ahead and take a look at Bond. So, as you can see, I have five hearts here. Leveling her, which she's the one I'm leveling up, I've got her up to three. Basically how this works is you've got gifts. You get gifts from boxes, you get gifts from uh, events. Uh, boxes are one of the things you can buy, but you know. So bond. Requires five hearts to bond. Once you have five hearts, then you can bond them. That will unlock their bond outfit. It'll also unlock certain emojis. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, bond outfit right here this is the halloween outfit for her but yeah you unlock this once you get her bonded i've got her up to five stars so what you have to do is for her you need spheres of love 10 of those you need 10 spheres of wisdom five hearts of the ocean which is the highest tier gem 10 wishing stones and 100 stardust all right this is where it gets kind of complicated so the spheres you get these in the shop periodically right i showed you where you get those um heart of the ocean 
that's the highest tier of gem. These come from the gift boxes, right? Uh, the purple gifts. You're gonna have to have five of a character's favorite purple or uh, favorite gift. Uh, you'll need it in purple. Um, so five of that in order to bomb them. Ten wishing stones. Ten of two different colors of spears, and a hundred of this. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at how we go about getting them. So Stardust is from donating gifts. Um, uh, I don't remember what these are called. Uh, but yeah, the uh, star stones. Duplicate de decorations become star stones. Duplicate characters become wishing stones. Um, so you can get a. Ah, uh, oh, right here. Okay. So you can get green and blue gifts here, right? So they come in a lot of different styles, and then randomly there will be some spheres here. So, as you saw, I'm wanting to work on her. So if you look right here, she likes gems. That's her type of thing that she wants. She also needs, oh, spheres of light. So I need four more spheres of light for her. And she likes gems. So, oops. Uh, we'll go over to the shop. Fortune. Um, okay, so. No, we don't. Oh, this is another thing that wishing stones are useful for. If you want any of the purple gifts, you can buy them for wishing stones. You can also get spheres here. I do not recommend that. But for the gifts, that's an option you have if you don't want to go through just opening bags. Uh, but yeah, I need the spheres of light, so I'm going to go and buy one of those for some of my coppers. Um, also, as you saw, she likes gems, so I'm going to go ahead and buy a large diamond. Alright, now we'll go over to the dorm, we'll pop her up, view. As you can see, we now have one more of those. So we'll need three more of those, and we'll need some parts of the ocean, and some of this. Alright, but first, gift. Don't gift purple gifts. You'll want to save those for bonding. But yeah, blue gift on the other hand, we'll gift that to her. As you see, we get a little bit of a heart. Once that reaches five hearts, we can do our bond. Also, as you gain hearts, you uh, unlock voice lines and uh, stuff like that, and uh, extra emojis, even before you reach bond. But the most important thing is, once you get them to, it's either four or five hearts, I can't remember which, but um, once you get them up to a certain number of hearts, then um, whenever you play a ranked match, you fill up a little bar for getting a, a, a gift, right? And the gift will get, you'll get um, some of the gift items. You can either give those as gifts, or you can break them down. Um, why this is important is when you break down gifts that show up in here, uh, you you select them. This can't be donated, and I want to donate it anyway. But you select a gift in here that you you don't really need. Uh, actually, I'll just show you. Hold on. So shop. Let's get. Uh, a homemade cookie. Fuck it. That'll work. Alright. So, say you've got a gift that you don't need. You go in here, you hit donate, select the cookie, donate it. Yes. So, green ones will give you one, blue ones I think give you five, and purple ones give you ten or fifteen or something like that. I don't know. You probably shouldn't break down the purple ones. Uh, but if you want to, you can. Not this one though, because this one came from an event as a reward. You can only break down ones that you get from bags. So, um, you can pick up bags in the shop down at Fortune. So, right here, um, this is where you get purple gifts. Uh, you can also get them from events, and that's equally valid. Another thing you can get here is summoning scrolls. Now, if you're not spending jade on spins, then you'll be spending summoning scrolls. Um, these refresh uh, periodically. I think it's like monthly. So you can buy with uh, this stuff five of these monthly. And you can effectively turn copper into this because as you saw, you can buy gifts, you can break the gifts down. That gives you 
some of the stardust, you can get spins that way. You can get bags that way. Um, so that's how you go about um, doing summonings without paying money on the game. Um, it's a little bit confusing. I hope that helped explain it a little bit. Because, um, yeah, there's a lot of currencies, but the main ones you're going to want to focus on, first of all. With copper, you're mainly going to want to save that for buying spheres to help you get bought, right? Um, you can spend a little bit on gifts occasionally, but I would really save it for the spheres. You'll know which spheres you need by checking in the door. Um, Jade is your pay currency. If you want to speed things up, you can pick some up. You don't have to. If you're going to, I recommend doing the $5 a month plan. It gives you enough to do a 10 spin every month. Which, uh, I've been skipping on it lately, but I was, uh, buying it every month for a while. Um, and then, you know, dust is important. You get that from breaking down, um, breaking down stuff. But, yeah, hopefully that helped explain it. Um, but yeah, I'll go ahead and record another video here in a little bit, and I'll upload that a little later. But if you if you found this informative uh, slash enjoyed it, um, be sure to share it with a friend because word of mouth does help small uh, small channels like mine grow. And also, uh, there are probably a lot of people who kind of need, uh, you, there are probably a lot of people who could use the uh, information. But anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Have a great night. Peace out.